Curly Chris and guys in today's video we are getting some length I am doing a super long and sleek ponytail with natural hair if you are new to your girl's channel make sure you do one thing for your girl okay and that is to smash that button down below smash that button down below if you are following me on my Instagram you've already seen that I did do a super long ponytail on my hair, however, I use straight hair and not natural hair. So, AKA clip-ins. I'm going to be using some clip-ins to get this super long ponytail that I am envisioning. I really feel like I'll be able to pull this off and I'm confident in myself, okay? So, we are gonna see how it turns out. These clip-ins are, I, might be, I can't remember where they're from. They were just all in my pile of clip-ins that I keep in my bathroom so and I'm also going to be using just some straight braid hair to extend the length of my hair before I wrap the clip-ins around which we're going to get all into that as well um and then some tools that you'll be needing in case you are following along with me is just a wave brush with a soft and hard side and then a detangling brush of some sort um, and I've already applied my leave-in conditioner to my hair and to sleek everything down I'm going to be using the main choices gelato gel and lastly you're just going to be needing some scrunchies I have three of them here and they're like the long stretchy ones um, so three scrunchies for your hair so in the back I've already oh that was wet oh that slapped me on my neck like ain't nobody business so the last thing that you're going to be needing is some type of microfiber towel. I forgot to mention that earlier. And the reason why is because you're going to dry off a lot of the excess water in your hair. This is the only time when I recommend drying off excess water, okay? As you guys know, I'm all about the moisture. So for my ponytail, I am going for a no part at all. So I am going to just be pushing this all to the back. I've already tangled in the shower. If you have not detangled, what are you doing? Make sure you are detangled already before you do this step, okay? Then I'm gonna just take my detangling brush and brush once again. And just brush, take my time and brush on back. So I'm using the main choices gel, like I was saying, and just applying it at my base for my hair and it actually may do better to take some of the gel and then rub it into your hands so that you get an even application everywhere yeah that works way better like when I tell you guys I have no use for eco anymore like I don't even use eco styler anymore typically if I was like about three years ago I would have been or maybe even two years ago I would have been using eco styler to slick this down but there's so many gels on the market now that are really good for our natural hair and get the job done and I'm also going to apply a little bit back here because y'all know we got to get the beady beads okay y'all can't be having y'all front looking good and y'all back looking like who did it and why can't have that this is looking good already and now I'm going to take my pattern brush one more time and just brush on back. Make sure everything is smooth, which it is so far. And y'all, that having a smooth foundation, have everything laying flat, is really what's going to make your ponytails pop and like blend really, really nice, especially if you're doing natural hair like I am. All right, so in the back, I'm going to raise my ponytail up to about right here on my head I'm gonna double one of these and then secure that I'm 
and you want to get all your hair through there, okay? There we go. Oh, whoa, nice and sleek, honey. Do I like it all to the back? All right, y'all, so I switched it up into the middle part because I forgot how my hair was shaped and how my ears are shaped and sis, I don't feel right whenever I don't have no part. So I went ahead and do the middle part because my forehead ain't set up that way or my head in general, okay? So now we're going to braid this on down, okay? But the key part about this is whenever we braid, I'm going to be feeding in some of this hair to where it is super long on me. And that's how we're going to start the base for our curly ponytail. It's um, 36 inch long and this may actually be too long than what I need, but we'll see. Okay fam, so I am going now with my microfiber towel and just getting out a lot of that excess water and then I'm going to split that ponytail into three pieces and start to braid. So I'm going to be braiding down and then adding in the kinkalon hair. And the way that you want to do this is just feed in the hair. So the way I feed in, I try to slow it down. I just do what's natural and what feels right to me and my fingers. Um, I'm not a good feed inner at all. It's literally only my second time doing a feed in braid. And I just add hair um, into one of the three pieces and then braid over it to secure a spot in the braid. Which I tried to show you guys how I do it here, but like I said, I'm not too skilled in feed in braiding. So there are plenty of tutorials on Instagram where like they really are good at it and they can teach you. But I just taught myself really and just did what made sense in my head. So I went ahead and added some hair in. And the reason why you're adding hair in, of course, is because we are going to be clipping the clip-ins onto this braided hair. So you have to make sure that your hair is long enough in order for you to get this super sleek and long ponytail. So then I'm gonna just go ahead and keep on braiding. And I also added in some more hair, which I honestly probably did not need because y'all, this was so long, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and keep on braiding this down and as you guys can see like it's not neat at all which it does not need to be neat either because none of this is going to be seen so the good thing is this is not the part that most of us are skilled in but it also does not matter right now because none of this will be seen okay you're gonna we're gonna be covering all of that up so when I get towards the end I'm gonna keep on braiding just like that and guys one thing I noticed was I did make my braid too long so I just like the good thing about it is you can just use your scissors for one to just cut it however short you want it to be so that's the good thing however i will say i will show you guys one more step that's important so once you get towards the end you're going to cut off the excess hair right then you're going to add your scrunchie now if you find that your braid is too long just push your scrunchie up and then cut off the excess hair below it and that makes it really really simple to where you can just adjust the length of it at any time if you find that that the braid is too long so the next thing I'm going to do is take a scrunchie and I'm going to so just place it over the part where I started to add in the feed in because I didn't want it to fall out or anything, which I didn't think it was, but just to make sure you, your hair cannot be falling out, okay? So I went ahead and added another braid, I mean another ponytail right there for that part that was transitioning to secure it in place. All right, y'all, so now that we have the ponytail installed, okay, now we're gonna go in with the clip-ins. And like I was saying, this part does not matter at all. Like, no one's gonna see this part. So however it looks, it looks, that's fine. The out part, the outer part we're about to do right now is what really matters. Now we're going to take the clip-ins and starting from the bottom, we're going to clip them around the braid okay fam so when you have your clip ins you can detangle them and brush them out just so you can get like a thicker texture um so then i'm going to just wrap it around the braid so i'm literally taking the clip in and wrapping it around the braid and clipping it onto the braid okay and that's how you're going to for one hide the braid and for two make your long ponytail just that simple y'all like it's so easy 
so once again just brush it on out make sure it's detangled and nice and you know thick like you want it and then just clip it on to the braid and you're gonna clip it in an upward motion so that you are like staggering the hair basically up along the ponytail and y'all it's literally that simple like so easy i was so shocked i was like man this makes so much sense like I love this technique. This is a really, really good technique to make an extra long braided ponytail with clip-ins. Yes. Now, I do want to make, make this mention. If you find that your ponytail is too long for you, do not clip your clip-ins, okay? Just make your ponytail shorter and take out some of the clip-ins starting at the bottom. y'all so i went and finished the ponytail now are y'all ready to see talk to me now y'all look at this lens and it looks so good now this is another part that's very very important let me scoot on up so i can show you guys so the part about wrapping the hair around this part so that it looks very natural that's very very important because you can't have a slave ponytail in a messed up transition, okay? That ain't cute. You should put an extra clip in right around here by the ponytail. Take that hair, a piece from that clip in, okay? And y'all already know what I'm gonna do. You're gonna wrap it around the ponytail. And you really want to secure it and disguise it so that no one can see. Okay, so this is what my ponytail is looking like. And of course, I have some more sleeking to do with my natural hair. But I just wanted to show you guys how good the transition looks. And this is exactly what you're looking for. Now, on to the next step, which is the blending and define. Well, not so much blending, but defining of the ponytail. So, your ponytail will probably get dry. It's, not, it's hair, so it's going to dry out. Now, you want to refresh this ponytail and make it pop, okay? So, I'm using water and this Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Mousse. So, I'm first going to spray the hair with the water, rub it on in, and then I'm going to be applying the mousse to the hair, and this is going to define my ponytail. So... You really just have to make sure that it is wet enough. You don't want it to be too wet, but you do want it to be damp. And then you want to apply your mousse to the ponytail. And when you apply the mousse to the ponytail, you just got to work it in. And this is the mousse that I decided to use, and it really, really did a good job for me. Um, but just work the mousse on in um, and just define. And just, if you want it to be more defined, keep on adding some more water and mousse. But I just added a good bit to where I really did like the definition. Like, y'all, this mousse did the doggone thing for this ponytail, okay? Like, the ponytail was popping. As you guys can see, I'm in a hotel room because I had somewhere to go um, for this style. So I had somewhere to be. But I'm just going to keep on working on up with the mousse and water with defining my ponytail. And guys... I define mine every single day that I wore it just because I wanted it to look fresh and like popping. And look, the end result was so bomb. It is so bomb. Look at how good that looks, that definition. And this is what the entire ponytail looks like after I define the whole thing. It looks so good and it blends so well with my texture, okay? And this is what the front of my hair is looking like after I went ahead and slayed my edges. Like, edges popping, okay? pop in and hair is sleek and here's the final look y'all my whole outfit and everything i said let me go ahead and put this video in here so i can show y'all the final looks you know like y'all the ponytail did the doggone thing it's exactly what i wanted the length is perfect the volume of it is perfect everything blended so well to me um here's some more pictures of how everything looks and you guys can just see how well the blend is like it blends perfectly with my texture and everything. And the length of it is just so smooth. I loved it, loved it, loved it, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you enjoyed this tutorial.